Well, you can see the recipes from your favorite cookbook come alive. A Lexington Bookshop is combining books and food for an experience that you won't soon forget. Chef Bridget Newen is here to tell us about the Pen to Plate Dinner Series at Morris Bookshop. And we do thank you for coming in. I, I said before, you are the best chopper. I love to just watch you. <laughs> and all of this color you here. The tips of my fingers don't, don't fear as well yeah. as yours always do. All right, pen, pen to plate dinner. Yes, Bill, doesn't that what sound does that like mean? so much it fun? Does. Pen to plate. So basically, Four local chefs from Lexington. Dan Wu from Master Chef, our culinary evangelist, already had his event last month. I'm this month. There are just two tickets left for my dinner next week. And then Wyatt Sarbacher and Allison Davis will take um, September and October. So, really fun event in which uh, we were asked to pick our favorite cookbook or just a cookbook we're inspired by. Mine is Mastering the Art of Southern Cooking. Just being a transplant to Kentucky, this book has really helped me get a hold of Southern staples, but to put a fresh spin on them. So we get to choose our cookbooks that we love and then cook from those books. So just get inspiration and then put together a beautiful minimum three-course dinner that will take place at the bookstore. <laughs> and I love like the fun. way that you do make it your own recipe. You always do, and it's, it's always good. Well, it's this fun. Recipes so really should just be suggestions. And mm -hmm. so um, it's going to be a really nice interactive dinner in which we can talk about the recipes, maybe some of our culinary inspiration and history, how we all ended up in food. And it's a really intimate dinner. Dinner, 16 people only in the beautiful Morris Bookshop, which is so charming. And then uh, we're pairing it with West Six Beer, which is great. All right. Perfect. Perfect. What did you bring in today? Fresh peach and cucumber salsa. So this is, you could buy everything pretty much at the farmer's market. So some nice local peaches. These are super juicy, peeled and diced. And then some fresh cucumber. And then some bell pepper just for color. And if you wanted, you could throw in some jalapenos if you wanted a little bit of spice. But I love that this is just different than your average tomato salsa. And then you said I make things turn my this, own. Turn it this way. It oh, looks yeah. so oh, nice. Oh, yeah, Bill, yeah. help me out. Fresh. All right, I'll turn it um, And so instead of cilantro, which is mm -hmm. typically found in salsas, I'm using a little bit of basil. Oh, that's good. And then what really makes salsa shine, or anything like um, salad dressing, for example, is a little bit of citrus, whether it's in the form of lime juice or lemon juice. And then what I loved about this recipe was the use of preserves, whether it's peach or apricot, gives you a little bit of sweetness. Isn't that Put nice? That right in there. All right. And then you end up quickly. with a really easy salsa that would be great just with chips, but this would really shine on a piece of, a piece of fish or maybe chicken or pork. And then you've got this great fresh summery salsa that you can keep in the fridge. It looks really wonderful. Now you said only two tickets left for your dinner? Yep, but oh, there are gosh. plenty for the upcoming ones for Wyatt and Allison's. And what I love is that none of the chefs participating in this um, dinner series have traditional restaurants. Mm -hmm. So it's your one chance to kind of have food that Allison Davis from Wild Time is cooking, Wyatt Sarbacher who's out at Pasture with Marksbury Farm, um, and me. We don't cook every night in restaurants typically, so it's just a, a different Rare event. opportunity. It, it, it yeah. sure is. Check it all out at Morris Bookshop. Yes, we hope to see you there. Jump on their website or call the store for tickets. It should be a lot of fun. Always Perfect. good to see you. Thanks nice for coming to see you in. Too. Thanks for Thank having you. me. Coming